<laughs> Welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to be reviewing the 2008 IST Toyota IST. This is a beloved car. It is compact, very beautiful. Ladies love it. Young men love it. Even dons love it. So today, enjoy review the review. Like the video. Subscribe to our channel. Let's go. Okay, welcome back to our review of the Toyota IST. So today I'm going to start with giving you the specifications. This car has an engine size of 1.5 liter and it's a four cylinder engine, able to produce 106 horsepower at 6,000 RPM. The torque is 103 pound feet of torque and the transmission is a four speed automatic. Or you can also get a five speed manual with a fuel economy of about 8.5 kilometers per liter in the city and 6.5 kilometers per liter for the highway. This car has an engine that uses the petrol. All the versions of this car have engines that use petrol. They are petrol engines. You will notice that at the back, it really looks beautiful. This is the IST and it is really, really loved by many people. This particular one has alloy wheels, which is a very good add-on. And it has disc brakes, both at the front and at the back. It has a wide wheelbase of 97.6 inches and a ground clearance of 5.5 inches. This car is good on the highway and also good off-road, of course with careful driving. So let's go on the inside and check on this car and see how it looks. Now in the driver's seat, we have our power windows controls here. We control the mirrors also from here. This is to help you adjust the headlamp. You can make it face up or face down. Uh, other controls for the mirrors here, our key start, some of them come with the push to start and people tend to prefer those. If you look at the gauge cluster, I think it is really beautiful and informative. It is strategically positioned to allow you get all the necessary information without checking very far. Then I like the center console it's just strategically positioned we have air vents on many sides one for the driver around right here uh, this is shared by the driver and the passenger and we have one for the passenger over there then this is an old style uh, kind of infotainment system but it can be replaced by the new modern digital ones that even have screens that can play music this one here accommodates a cd and uh, as you can see it is a stock one that came with the car this is the 2008 model so you can forgive it if this is an old one uh, i like the way the climate control is just here so simple for me to switch on the the buttons are tactile and that is very very good so we also have the stock for selecting the gears right here parking reverse neutral and it also has a braking mode where are you when you do this and you bring it to brake if you're at a very high speed it will tend to slow down the car using the power from the engine many people don't know that so they take a long time without using it then i'll also show you some storage we have our glove compartment right there more storage in the door bins just some simple storage here on top you can never get enough storage in a car a cup holder right there and you can see this is going to get the new number plates, UBM. That's the current number plate here in Uganda at the moment. 
but you see it is really 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 a beautiful car i like it it is so simple there isn't a lot of storage here in the uh, where the armrest usually is so just know this car when you are in it it's very compact and some of the features have been sacrificed for space so you look at uh, some small storage here down here for your coins this storage is very important because in my car that's what i use most um we don't have anything else on top here just some mirrors on the visors your uh yeah that's all that's all i like the speakers in this car you will notice that there's one down there on the door bin then the treaters i like cars that have these because they tend to create a surround sound effect and it makes the car really feel premium the door latches it's a good design it's a simple simple good design with ist's you will notice that people who love them love them so much and people who don't like them also don't like them a lot so it is really not in the middle there it is a very divisive car let's check out the back and see if you were a passenger in the ist how would you feel and how would it be let's go to the back now okay so when i come to the back the space is uh, uh the legroom is not much the legroom is not much look at this it's a bit tight and the headroom also isn't much as you can see the headroom is not much we can't make our phone call our phone call measure cannot fit there so we can say the headroom is not so much however we do have some a simple cup holder right here uh, this is a four-wheel drive where we have uh, our shaft moving from the engine to the rear wheels so that's why you see this hump here in the middle some of them will not have it i like the chairs the material is good in this particular one i like the material it's simple nice easy to clean so uh, i'll show you how to fold the seats uh, there's a latch down here if you want to fold the seats oh latch where are you where are you i'm trying to find you ah okay i can't find that ah, i've got it i've got it just down here so when uh, there's a latch down here you pull this latch just like this and when you pull it you can then raise this chair this seat like this and when you do it like this you have some space here it's just like a toyota wish this is how you do the Toyota wish as well then you come here there's a latch here on top you pull this one up like this and then these chairs can fold that way you will have extra storage in the boot the boot is not that big when these behind seats are on are up are up so it's important to always um fold these ones downwards the ones in the middle you fold them downwards to get that extra space yes okay i think that's all about the ist it's a very exciting car it's usually a good option for a fast car because like i said people who love it really love it those who don't love it also don't love it so much it is a very very divisive car otherwise that's all for today enjoy your weekend uh today is a sunday in uganda See you next time when we are reviewing the next car. Bye bye.